Hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. We're Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Herberts and Crafting. And we're flying right back into the mine shaft. Where we're going way too fast. That was going to result in instant death. <laughs> We gotta pull our speed brake and our flaps on that one. Anyway, let's fly down to the bottom here in our seek and destroy tunnel where we hunted the mycelium resistance base in our last episode. Very unsuccessfully, that is. They are still elusive out there. We are now surrounded here in lava. As you can see, all of our mine shafts are spewing lava. So we're gonna have to think of something different and a new strategy, or at least a new mine shaft. But I've been thinking about something we could do, and it may result in us looking like maybe the baddies, maybe. But so we're going to make sure we're going to put out some good vibes and things along those lines to kind of take the edge off what we're about to do today, which is going to be a big one. There's going to be some lasers. There's going to be some boom booms, but it's going to be amazing. But before we get to that, in our last episode, we did some amazing stuff here in the factory. And I have a bit of a surprise tucked away in the factory. Why is the door? This Moopop factory tour sucked. Thanks for the miso? Miso? Musu? I... Miso? I, I'm confused. Oh! Mycelium, though. It's like a shortened slang. Oh, we've been infiltrated. Oh, yeah, we have. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All the security measures are down. So that means, yep, Cubs traps are... <gasps> oh, they watched the mycelium burn in front of their faces. I hope it did. I think that did. <laughs> I cannot wait to see their perspective. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Wow. Hello? Who are you? <gasps> oh, hip security. <laughs> Oh, you are so cute. Look at you. Look at that face. That is a face that I love. May I give you a nice pet? No pets from him. He is not a petting animal. <laughs> oh, this doesn't fit the aesthetic of the design. That needs to go immediately. Anyway, what is this now? <laughs> Cub was in charge of secure. Oh, jeez. No, don't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Cub was in charge of security, and boy, did he come through. This is a mice... Yep, this was definitely Cub. Those are spectral arrows. <laughs> I think I mispronounced arrows. I call them arrows. Anyway, as I said, I made something really, really cool in my attempt to revitalize the Moopop factory here that I made actual Moopop. Are you ready to see this? Bam, there it is. Moopop bottles. I am really happy with this. I, I'll admit I made this custom texture and I'm super, super proud of it. And uh, yeah, look at how cool that is. You got the little bit of fizz coming out from the carbonation. And yeah, how can you get a better drink than this? This is way better than golden apples or golden carrots or whatever they are. So yeah, enjoy some nice, delicious moo pop. Now what? What on earth? <laughs> Lol. I'm not doing any lols. What happened to the town hall now? <laughs> it's all diamond blocks. I didn't even realize it was diamond blocks at first. There's just mess everywhere. Oh, it's is this the throne? I am so lols confused right now. Lols everywhere. Lols high and low. They're all lols. Much confusion in the lols world. The diamond throne has been re returned, lol. Just kidding. We have used the diamonds to legitimately purchase half of the shopping district, we will be covering it up very soon. Shelly, where are you? Shelly, Chel how is this possible? How, how do you always let this happen? I leave you here guarding the throne and it comes and goes as it pleases now. <laughs> We're gonna have to sit on it like musical chairs so we don't lose it again. <laughs> we go around and around the diamond throne. Who sits will be the winner. I don't know, is that how you play musical chairs? I don't remember. Oh, wow. I mean, at least the throne's back. And we got Moopop. We leave the server for one weekend, and this lols happens. <laughs> you gotta love the server, right? You have gotta love it. And Jelly, you are letting the mycelium creep into the office now, but I can't be upset with you. Look at how cute you look behind that book. Right? You can't be, you can't be mad at her. <laughs> but anyway, let's get to work now. And up here, you can see where we worked in our last episode in terms of excavating the shopping district and looking for the resistance headquarters. And well, we were very unsuccessful. So now 
I do believe that the Resistance headquarters is anywhere between the Moon Base and Easy Seas, or Easy Easy Seas? What do we call Ethos Shop? Oh, that is a whole lot of mycelium throughout the town hall. We need to get rid of that. But I'm struggling a little bit, my friends. I am truly struggling to find a place for today's build in that the shopping district, well, is basically full. And we will look out, we see these absolutely breathtaking structures and the true breadth of creativity of Hermitcraft, which is wonderful. But the problem is we're starting to get the point where we don't have any more room left. So with the power of the mayorship behind us, we should order the immediate expansion of the shopping district soon, where we expand out to fully contain the hermit's wondrous imagination. Does that sound like a good plan? Because we can't contain the hermit's imagination just in a small area like this. I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to this, but it looks like it will. We're gonna have to build another island. fast build mode and well yep we've got ourselves another island here and i can't believe i keep doing this to myself these islands take a lot of time but in the end i think they're worth it now this one I had to cut a little short in the time lapse and not finish every little detail yet because i'm going to need to get the structure that we're going to build down before we can you know smooth off all the edges finish the shoreline here and you know add some trees plants and some rocks so with that, we need to start planning out the laser drill that's going to go right here, which is going to be really, really cool. So the design of it is going to be modern because, well, I've done modern tower over there and then more of kind of like an old fashioned design. And now I'm ready for another modern design. And that's kind of how I seem to do Minecraft, right? Lately, I do one design and then I get excited about another one. So, yeah back on modern speaking of modern design here at the scar x corporation we've received a lot of questions about why is this area not done why have you not finished the scar cart system and well i can tell you that because <laughs> i've made a giant mistake i came back here one day to finish this section by adding some really cool things and then i realized that this track system right here is one block off it is too wide so from this gray block all the way to there it is too wide and that throws off the whole system for the design that we have for the scar carts so yeah either i'm gonna have to redesign the scar carts or i'm gonna have to tear out this entire section and rebuild it one block skinnier but until then we've got a chest monster here to defeat and we need to find all the resources that we need for today so i think <laughs> I organized some of these supplies a day or two ago and I'm like, is it over there? Is it over here? Is it here? And then I'm like, I think these are the, yep, these are the supplies that I need. So I got a bunch of stuff that we will need today for our projects. We're probably going to need another box of white concrete and maybe some smooth quartz. But in this area right here, it may look like a ginormous mess but I'm really trying to put all of my resources together and get a little bit more organized and it's slowly making progress. We are slowly getting things labeled and then when we do have a proper storage room, which I promise you I will build this season, we'll have somewhere to put it all. Can I ask you a favor? Please don't judge the island too harshly yet. As I said before, it is just a work in progress and when I flew over here, I'm like, Ugh, that is not looking super great. So we have a ton more to do here. We just need to get the structure down and then we can add all the final touches to the landscape by surrounding them around the giant thing that we are about to build here. So we've got all of our supplies ready to go. And with that, yeah, I am I'm, I'm a little nervous because this thing is going to be absolutely massive and uh, it is going to be a whole, whole lot of work. So my friends, 
Let's jump into super fast build mode and, well, build a definitely not evil laser beam. into super fast build mode and that is right hep now has a giant laser at our disposal to get to the core of the earth here and it is my friends looking pretty cool and a bit intimidating <laughs> but i absolutely love it what could possibly go wrong with a gigantic laser in the hands of HEP. And if anybody says that HEP is not an environmental agency, we'll tell them that our super giant laser guns, they're powered by solar panels, renewable energy. We here at HEP are doing our part. There is a detail on the structure that I'd like to get your opinion on. As you can see, there is a mix of concrete, concrete powder, and iron blocks on the outside. See how it diffuses as it gets a little bit taller towards the top? That is a bit of force perspective. Now on the back side here, you'll notice that it is pure concrete. Now, what is your favorite? Like, what do you like? Do you like the pure concrete look or the texturized perspective look? Choose in the comments, A or B. So A for the perspective, B for the plain design. I'm just curious which one you like better. Well, this thing is no good just sitting there doing nothing. As you can see, it is prepared for a blast. So let's fly down to the control button here where it is our HEP super cool boom boom laser. All right. So with this button, we can, well, activate it. I love the smell of a laser beam in the sunset here where we can see the sun rays being pulled into the solar panel, powering our massive laser shooting to the core of the planet in hopes of finding those sneaky resistance friends of ours that hide in the realm of the mushroom. But this thing is insane. And this is what I absolutely love about Minecraft is you can take these insane ideas inside of your mind and well, Make them a reality. It is one of the easiest methods of being creative, in my opinion, is Minecraft. It's just so intuitive to harness those ideas that are in our minds and finally be able to see them come to fruition. And look at that solar panel there. And of course, I really want to see where this laser beam goes. So come with me as we dip into the core of the planet where we are on our way. Part of Operation Gopher, Strip Mine, Seek and Destroy, whatever we choose to call it at the moment. Now, you might notice there is some solidified concrete there. Now, the reason that is there is, well, the walls leak of water. And as I said before, we're in our camera account now but we will not go into the walls to see where their base is or where the lava is and all of that so we just kind of have to dig around it and find our way so yeah i'm i'm just having fun this is one of my favorite new projects here and uh, i think we had a lot of fun little details and um, yeah i hope you guys like it as much as i do and i want to see this one more time from above and see that laser shooting all the way down into the pit. Yeah, look at that, super cool. Found a strange relic in this cave, but I cleared out the water, did some branch mining, found 18 diamond ore, which is amazing. But remember, all diamond ore, any ore that I get is for the community. 
because it's the shopping district after all. Anyway, so I chopped this area out, did a bunch of branch mining, but as I said, I found some kind of ancient permit craft structure that I don't think ever made it inside of anyone's videos. It feels like a build that somebody abandoned. At first I thought we made it, but then I'm like, wow, where, where does this even go? I mean, what is this place? Are these hoppers? Oh, and there's like massive pillars back here. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see that at first. Only saw that like mine shaft going upwards. I feel like an Egyptologist or something in Hermitcraft, maybe a Hermitologist? Hmm. I don't know. We'll work on that phrasing. Anyway, over here, we've got some kind of redstone contraption that was never finished. And yeah, I don't know. Also, on the other hand, this place is a little bit creepy. It kind of feels like maybe <laughs> Batman's cave. I mean, <laughs> there's bats absolutely everywhere. Um, also, I, I don't remember where our tunnel was. <laughs> I'm a little bit creeped out. Ooh, made it to the tunnel. And if you know what that place is, let me know. But we also broke our rule in not messing with other builds. So that means, well, we got to go in a different direction now. So I got to plan that out. Look at our fine HEP member Tango here, admiring the power and the majestic nature of the laser beam. Time to take this laser beam and deflect it into a new path because our original path there was leading into decked out ancient hermit builds that never saw the light of day. So this is the new path. As you can see, follow the beacons across here. These are most definitely not scientifically placed, but we're gonna make a new boring hole through this area and we're gonna sneak right through the rear of the shopping district. And this will give us a clear path straight on in hopefully and maybe find that sneaky resistance base so man we're gonna have to do a whole lot of mining i have been underground for hours and i need to get some fresh air as you know i get a little stir crazy when i'm underground because well brings back memories of season five it's probably a reason why my season eight base will most definitely not be underground, even though we have the Amazon cave update. So we're here at B of the double of the O's turf time game. So this is a really cool little mini game that B-dubs has created. And I just caught this at the corner of my eye. Is that, oh, that's a chair and I love it to bits. B-dubs creativity never ceases to amaze me that is a bed pushed into the wall to look like a lounge chair that like an old man would sit here looking out over the forest <laughs> anyway guys welcome to turf time here and the goal of this game is pretty darn simple we bet we sit down here we bet a diamond to see which block becomes the dominant block in the center mycelium or grass so with that we need to pay if i can find an ender chest so we pop a diamond on top. Well, up there we are. <laughs> and with that, we can then guess that it is going to be grass. We sit down and we watch who will win. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what we want. Not at all. <laughs> OK, well, we got one more diamond. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Two out of three. OK, two out of three. Just petting jelly. I heard the beep. Oh, it is mycelium again. Oh, I feel like this is just rigged so that I keep paying over and over to destroy the mycelium. You know what? We're doing this again. <laughs> we're getting out another diamond and we're down to one stack of diamond blocks. Compare that to last season. Ooh, we're poor. And also we cannot make a basket. There we go. Okay, here we go. One more time. We got a prize. We got two diamonds and we got the grass. So that's two, two. Let's make the final deciding vote here. Who do you think is going to win? Mycelium or grass? Here we go. Yes! <laughs> oh, that is tremendous. We got it, guys. Grass is going to win. So I hope in the comments you chose grass because grass is dominant. There we go. Absolutely love it. B-dubs, fantastic design. And plus, can we give them some props for the exterior design too? When we swoop around here, like, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I'm feeling way more energized now that we know that grass is the best block in the turf time war game machine that BTEP's created. But welcome down here to the pit. And this tunnel here goes on and on and on. And well, you guessed it, out 
on and on and on. And it even flows right through lava tunnels straight on down to, you guessed it, on and on and on. And we've got some plans here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set up little boring tunnels, probably spaced out about 10, 20, 30 blocks, whatever we choose here. And then we'll make some kind of little TNT machine, maybe some kind of flying thing that goes straight into the shopping district. And yeah, I think that is going to be our plan. The problem is, I have no idea how to make that. We're going to need to enlist the help of someone. I don't know who yet, but someone. So I guess it's a good thing that we keep finding diamonds that we can pay whoever it is to build us some form of TNT boring machine. We actually got 23 ore blocks of diamonds out of that expedition down into the mines. And we got quite a bit in our last episode down in the mine shafts. But there we go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today as we made an absolutely massive, even some may say, mega laser drill that has bored ourselves an amazing hole that will take us hopefully to the mycelium resistance base the real one that is this time right jelly <laughs> we're going for the real one but yeah there we go guys i hope you enjoyed and until next time this has been good times with scar and i oh it's really push you guys taking the time to watch the videos and if you believe the videos are rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll see you later and don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life.